It was a warm Monday morning when Emma Carter walked into her office, a place she had dedicated ten years of her life to. As the senior account manager at Transglobal Solutions, she had built a robust client base and was respected by her peers and clients alike. Her meticulous attention to detail and, when Emma Carter a dedicated and highly respected senior account manager at Transglobal Solutions is unexpectedly replaced by the CEO's freshly graduated daughter. The company faces unforeseen consequences. Emma's departure sends shockwaves through the client base, leading to the loss of 55 major clients overnight. Good morning, Mr. Reynolds, she greeted as she stepped into the lavish office. Morning, Emma. Please have a seat, Mr. Reynolds responded, his tone unusually stern. Emma sat down, her heart racing. She had a sinking feeling that something was wrong. Emma, I'll get straight to the point. We've decided to make some at-industry conferences, sharing her insights on building lasting client relationships and the importance of valuing employees. Her story became well-known, a beacon of resilience and professionalism. And so, Emma's story spread as a lesson to companies everywhere. In the pursuit of innovation, it's about new leadership. My daughter Jessica has just graduated from business school, and we believe it's time to bring in fresh ideas and perspectives. Emma was speechless. She had heard whispers about nepotism in the corporate world, but she never imagined it would happen to her. She tried to remain composed as she stood. Mr Reynolds, she said after a moment. But what's done is done. I have moved on and I am happy where I am now. He nodded, a look of understanding in his eyes. I understand, Emma. I just wanted you to know that I regret my decision. If there's any way we can collaborate in the future, I'd be grateful. Morale is low. And Jessica, she's struggling. I underestimated your value to the company. Emma listened quietly, feeling a mix of emotions. She had moved on, found a new place where she was appreciated. But a part of her still felt a connection to the company she had given so much to. I appreciate your apology. Emma, may I have a moment of your time? He asked, his voice tinged with regret. Emma nodded, motioning for him to sit. Of course, Mr Reynolds. What brings you here? He sighed heavily, rubbing his temples. I came to apologise. I was wrong to let you go. The company hasn't been the same without you. We've lost clients. From integrity, dedication and the genuine relationships one builds along the way. One evening, as Emma was wrapping up a successful meeting with a new client, she received an unexpected visitor. Mr Reynolds stood at the entrance of her new office, looking every bit the weary and humbled man he had become. Expressing their disappointment and loyalty to her, rather than the company. Within a week, Emma had accepted a senior position at a rival firm and many of her former clients followed her, eager to maintain their professional relationship with someone they trusted. Jessica, despite her best efforts, felt the pressure mounting. She spent long hours at the office, often working late into the night. But no amount of hard work could make up for the deep-seated relationships Emma had cultivated over a decade. Jessica began to resent her father's decision, feeling like she had been set up to fail, staring at the charts and graphs that depicted the company's plummeting performance. He knew he had made a grave mistake, but pride and fear of admitting failure kept him from reaching out to Emma. Instead, he doubled down on training and mentoring Jessica, hoping she would quickly rise to the occasion. Jessica, despite her best efforts, 
felt the pressure mounting. She spent long hours at the office, often working late into the night. But no amount of hard work could make up for the deep-seated relationships Emma had cultivated over a decade. Jessica began to resent her father's decision, feeling like she had been set up to fail. As for Emma, her new role was challenging but rewarding. She felt appreciated and valued in her new company, and the loyalty of her clients reaffirmed her belief in the importance of personal connections in business. She thrived, not just because of her skills, but because she had learned that true success comes. The reality of the situation was clear. Emma's departure had created a ripple effect that the company was unprepared to handle. Meanwhile, Emma found herself inundated with messages of support and job offers from competitors who had heard of her sudden dismissal. Her phone buzzed constantly with calls from former clients. Jessica, now sitting at Emma's old desk, looked overwhelmed. I don't understand. I tried calling a few clients, but they were furious. They said Emma was the only reason they stayed with us. By the end of the day, the company had lost 55 clients. A significant blow to their revenue and reputation, Emma's departure had not gone unnoticed by her clients. By mid-morning, the phones were ringing off the hook and emails flooded in. One by one, clients expressed their dissatisfaction and decided to take their business elsewhere. Mr Reynolds was in a state of shock. What is going on? he demanded, pacing his office. Mr Reynolds, she said after a moment. But what's done is done. I have moved on and I am happy where I am now. He nodded, a look of understanding in his eyes. I understand, Emma. I just wanted you to know that I regret my decision. If there's any way we can collaborate in the future, I'd be grateful. It's about new leadership. My daughter, Jessica, has just graduated from business school and we believe it's time to bring in fresh ideas and perspectives. Emma was speechless. She had heard whispers about nepotism in the corporate world, but she never imagined it would happen to her. She tried to remain composed as she stood at industry conferences, sharing her insights on building lasting client relationships and the importance of valuing employees. Her story became well known, a beacon of resilience and professionalism. And so, Emma's story spread as a lesson to companies everywhere. In the pursuit of innovation, Good morning, Mr. Reynolds, she greeted as she stepped into the lavish office. Morning, Emma. Please have a seat, Mr. Reynolds responded his tone unusually stern. Emma sat down, her heart racing. She had a sinking feeling that something was wrong. Emma, I'll get straight to the point. We've decided to make some... When Emma Carter, a dedicated and highly respected senior account manager at Transglobal Solutions, is unexpectedly replaced by the CEO's freshly graduated daughter, the company faces unforeseen consequences. Emma's departure sends shockwaves through the client base, leading to the loss of 55 major clients overnight. It was a warm Monday morning when Emma Carter walked into her office, a place she had dedicated 10 years of her life to. As the senior account manager at Transglobal Solutions, she had built a robust client base and was respected by her peers and clients alike. Her meticulous attention to detail and 